Good morning, grade 9. You're welcome to class today. And this is biology class. All right, and today we'll be talking about um, the topic, respiration. And it's found in your booklet, page 71. Okay, so let's start. So what is respiration? Cellular respiration, that means respiration in cells, okay? So what is respiration or what is cellular respiration? It is a process by which cells break down food molecules to release energy that is stored in the food, okay? Respiration is a process by which cells break down food molecules to release energy that, that is stored in food. So what do they break down? Food molecules. As the food molecules have been broken down, what do we have? Energy. Cells break down food molecules to release energy. All right, so when this energy is released, what do we use this energy for? So we have the uses of energy in the body of humans. For muscle contraction, we need energy for that. We need energy for protein synthesis. We need energy for cell division. And we need energy for growth. All right, so what is respiration again? Process by which cells break down food molecules to release what? Energy. So we have two modes or two types of respiration. We have aerobic respiration and we have anaerobic respiration. Aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So the first we'll talk about is what is aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration. Number one, you have to note in this definition is there is an oxidation. Okay? Aerobic respiration is the oxidation of glucose molecules in the presence of oxygen. Okay? To release a large amount of energy. Alright, we already said that in respiration, respiration means the breakdown of food molecules, okay, to release energy. So when we talk about aerobic respiration, aerobic respiration is the respiration that involves oxygen. Oxygen. There is oxygen involved in this respiration, aerobic respiration. Alright? So these glucose molecules, they are broken down in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen. Alright? And they release a large amount of energy. Okay, so when we have aerobic respiration, we have a large amount of energy and they have CO2 and water as their waste product. So look at this. Glucose. Okay, it's a form of energy in food molecules. So we have glucose plus oxygen because it's aerobic respiration. There has to be oxygen. And we have equals CO2 plus water plus energy. So this explains aerobic respiration, okay? Glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen to give CO2, water, and energy. And also aerobic respiration occurs in the mitochondria of cells. So look at this equation. For this respiration, we have chemical equation and we also have one equation. So this is a chemical equation. This is C6H2O6, which is glucose plus oxygen, okay, in the mitochondria of cells, all right? Then what does it give? We have CO2 plus water, energy, obviously. All right, and this is the word equation. So this word equation is just explaining all of these numbers, all right? All of this chemical equation. So glucose, glucose, plus oxygen, oxygen, to give... CO2, carbon dioxide, plus H2O, water. So if the question says, write the chemical equation for aerobic respiration, you write this. If the question says, write the word equation for aerobic respiration, you write this. It's the same. This is only representing the chemical equation, and this is saying it in the word. Okay, word equation. All right? So... Let's do a quick recap. Aerobic respiration, the breakdown of food molecules in the presence of oxygen. Okay, so glucose is broken down with oxygen in the presence of oxygen to give CO2 and water and a large amount of energy. 
anaerobic respiration. All right? Anaerobic respiration means in the absence, aerobic present of oxygen, and aerobic in the absence of oxygen. Oxygen is not present. Okay? Breaking down food molecules in the absence of oxygen. Okay? Anaerobic respiration happens in muscles during hard exercise. Okay? When you go to the gym, you're playing football, you know, during hard exercise, you have anaerobic respiration in muscles. Okay? So this is a glucose breaks down to lactic acid. You see? There is no oxygen. Only glucose to lactic acid. That is in muscles. Okay? So anaerobic respiration is much less efficient than aerobic respiration because it releases lesser energy per glucose molecule broken down. Unlike aerobic, in aerobic we have a large amount of energy when glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen. But in anaerobic, we have less amount of energy because glucose is broken down in the absence of oxygen. Anaerobic respiration in muscles. Look at this. During exercise. Let's see what happens. Okay? When exercising vigorously, okay, the blood cannot supply enough oxygen to the muscles for aerobic respiration to take place. Therefore, the muscles have to improvise. Then they respire and aerobically because the blood cannot su uh, supply enough oxygen. All right. So when you stop exercising, you go on breathing very hard, like that, to get oxygen to break down the lactic acid. So you can pay your debt. Okay? So this is called an oxygen debt because during vigorous exercise, you borrowed some extra energy without paying for it with oxygen. Okay? So after, after the exercise, you breathe so hard so you can get as much oxygen as you can. So you can replace the energy that you borrow. So you can pay back. Alright? So that's why after your exercise, you breathe very hard. Okay? When all, when all of this lactic acid has been broken down, your breathing rate and the rate of your heart then returns to normal. When you are done paying your oxygen debt by breathing very hard to take as much as oxygen as you can take, then your breathing rate and your heartbeat returns to normal. Okay? So, we have talked about anaerobic respiration in muscles. Now we want to talk about anaerobic respiration in yeast. Anaerobic, anaerobic respiration also happens in plant cells and some microorganisms. Anaerobic respiration in yeast is used, used during brewing or bread making. You know, yeast, when you want to make your bread, and your bread dough becomes very big. Okay, so let's see what happens during a anaerobic respiration in yeast. This is the word equation. Glucose, remember? No oxygen, just glucose. Okay, just glucose because it's anaerobic. Then what does it give us? It gives us alcohol plus carbon dioxide. All right, alcohol plus carbon dioxide. That's why we have. That's what we have in anaerobic respiration in yeast. So who can remember anaerobic respiration in muscles? What do we have? We have glucose. What does it give us? Good lactic acid. That's all. But in yeast, we have glucose. Then it gives us alcohol and carbon dioxide. So this is the word equation. This is glucose. This is alcohol, and this is or ethanol, and this is carbon dioxide. So, let's now look at the differences between these two types of respiration. Oxygen, it's needed in aerobic, not needed in anaerobic. Glucose breakdown in aerobic is complete, in anaerobic is incomplete. Okay? Products. What are the products of aerobic respiration? We have CO2 and water. In anaerobic, in muscles, we have lactic acid. In yeast, we have CO2 and ethanol, alcohol. Energy released. In aerobic, you have a lot of energy. In anaerobic, you have just a little. 
Okay? So, you have your homework on page 77, look like page 77 and 78. So let's quickly do a recap of today's lesson. We can tell me which of the type of respiration needs oxygen? Aerobic. Okay? Which of this type of respiration gives CO2 and water as their product? Aerobic. Which of this type of um, respiration gives CO2 and ethanol as their product? Anaerobic in yeast. Which of this type of respiration gives lactic acid as a product? As a product anaerobic in muscles. Which of this type of respiration releases a little energy? Anaerobic. Okay? Anaerobic. Which of this type of respiration happens without oxygen? Anaerobic. Alright? So I hope you understand today's lesson. So please answer the questions in your book like page 78 and 78. 77 and 78. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.